in elementary school. On the first day of kindergarten, we all had so many emotions running through us. We were scared to leave our parents, but at the same time, we were anxious and excited to go out into the world and meet our friends, many of whom would be with us until the day we graduate from high school. Walking into the kindergarten classroom, we looked around and met the eyes of our future friends. And from that day on, we knew it'd be okay. Elementary school is where we started making memories together. Every day at recess, we would go, we would run to the merry-go-round and spin ourselves as fast as we could. We would go so fast, some people would fly off and we'd get in trouble and have to sit against the wall in front of everyone. I think it's safe to say the wall was our biggest enemy. Once we got older, we got to go to the football games. While the high school games were going on, all the varsity wannabe boys in our class were playing their own game of football in the back. And all of us girls would stand there watching them, wishing we could get their attention. <laughs> then came the time somebody got hurt. We were all standing around when all of a sudden, somebody started making a circle around somebody on the ground. We were all so scared, but we were terrified when we figured out that it was one of our friends that was lying on the ground. It was Tristan Johnson, also known as TJ. The ambulance came and took him away. A bunch of us girls were so scared that we all decided to make a circle and pray for our friend. Luckily, our prayers paid off and TJ survived. <laughs> Another exciting thing about elementary school was show and tell. We couldn't wait until it was our turn to bring in, the best, to bring in our treasure to share with the class. We all wanted to bring the best item anyone had ever seen. But there was one person who outdid us all. It was second grade, and her name was Mrs. Rankin. We were sitting in class when she told us she was going to take us outside to look at a real live beaver. We all looked around with smiles on our faces. The class ran outside and stared in amazement at the cage with a huge beaver in it. We all walked around the cage while Mr. Rankin gave us a couple lessons on beavers. It was one of these times that, that I was so happy I had my friends by my side to witness this once in a lifetime event. Elementary school is where we found our best friends. Somewhere along the way, we all found the people who we enjoyed hanging out with and stuck with them. After sixth grade, we all got to take a journey together to the high school. Just like the first day of elementary school, we had a lot of emotions running through us. Walking through the hallways, we felt so awesome and grown up. But then we looked around at all the other big kids and felt so small. We were the last ones on the ladder again, trying to work our way up to the top. At first, we were really scared, but then we figured out high school was so much better than elementary school. We got our very first junior high dance. All of us girls were ecstatic. We couldn't wait to dance the night away. While the guys just showed up, mostly because we pressured them to. <laughs> the dancers weren't the only thing about high school that we liked. Us girls started pulling pranks on the guys early on in our high school years. We started small, but worked our way up to the big finale of homecoming week. At first, we just put toilet paper all over their vehicles. But the more we pranked, the better we became. We pulled pranks on them at the times they least expected it. For example, junior year homecoming, I don't think any of the guys expected us girls to try anything, but of course, we surprised them. We all got dressed in black and waited for the guys to go into the locker room. When the coast was clear, we all ran out and put syrup all over their door handles. While we were pranking, we heard somebody coming, so we ran and hid in the trees. That's when we saw Brandon Molina heading straight toward his vehicle. We all held our breath and waited to see what his reaction would be. I think it's safe to say that neither he nor the other guys liked our little surprise we left them. <laughs> but I think everyone's favorite prank was this homecoming, when all of the senior girls went out to the senior boys' homes and they came to ours. I will always remember and treasure these moments with my classmates. We never thought the day would come where we would finally become the big kids, but here we are today. I think we can all agree that time has flown by. Seems like only yesterday, we were starting our first day of elementary school. Afraid of what lay ahead, afraid to leave our families behind. Now we are in the same situation. Nervous, excited, unsure what our futures will hold. But I know something I didn't know 12 years ago. Now I know we can do it. Together, we have helped each other grow into the people we are today. The impact that we have made on each other is something that will stick with us for the rest of our lives. Even when we choose different paths, we will always have the memories and friendships that we have made at Lamar that will keep us together. Good luck, my classmates. I have found a friendship that has turned into family, and I can't wait to see what our futures hold. But through it all, no matter what happens or where we go, we will always be connected through this journey. Thank you for the memories of class of 2014. They're some of the best times of my life, and I will always cherish the friendships I made and look forward towards the future with excitement and delight, knowing that we did it. 
Today is our day. We are finally the big kids now. This is not goodbye. This is just the beginning. I am grateful today to stand before you as valedictorian of the class of 2014, but every graduate here today has met all of the necessary graduation requirements. Along the way, Mrs. Berthold has taught us to buck up during the horrifying dissections. Mr. Berge has taught us all we could possibly want to know about economics. And Mrs. Hager has taught us to battle through just one more quiz. <laughs> All teachers at LHS have taught us life lessons, but you, our families, are the ones who have taught us the most valuable things. You have taught us to be strong, hardworking, and loving. The first day of kindergarten is a memorable one for us. It was the day we dreaded, but also looked forward to. We had to leave home, but would meet new friends. Even more nerves kicked in once we stepped into the vehicles that would be driving us to school, either the family car or the school bus. Then, walking into the classroom, or doom room, the rush of emotions came again. I was petrified for my mom to leave me. The best moment of the day was when she later picked me up, and I told her that I didn't even cry. It felt like such an accomplishment. As we grew up learning to swim in the big kid pool, riding bikes, and getting shots at the doctors, you had our backs along the way. These times seem so little to us now, but were so big at the time. Now we realize that we would not have found the courage to do any of those things if you hadn't let us go. Maybe you did kind of give us a little extra push to stay on that bike, but you knew we needed it. Now, looking ahead to the future, the hardest day for us will be when we have to leave home in August. But I know we are ready for it, because you have done your jobs by making us strong men and women. You have also taught us the importance of hard work. Our first encounter with hard work was when we had to learn to write in cursive. The concept seemed so simple, but we soon realized it was not. Though our capital G's could not be perfected, you encouraged us to keep practicing. It was great when we saw improvement with all the other letters. Those G's never came through. They're still the hardest ones for us today. Venturing into fourth grade, we had to learn all 50 states and capitals. That was pretty tough. At first, we felt confident because we already knew one state and one capital, North Dakota and Bismarck. Then the road slowed down from there. We then turned to our families to help us to memorize the other 49 states and capitals. By quizzing over them at home, we soon learned that practicing was the ticket to success. Our sixth grade spring play tested our memorization one last time before we were to transfer to the high school. Not only did we have to memorize lines, but music, and then perform in front of people. This was definitely a handful. It was all we could think of that spring. It is a fact that we learned our lines by practicing at home. I remember that I asked my sister, Mackenzie, to help me practice. I don't know what I would have done without her. And I hope she's smiling right now as I announce this because she wanted me to include her in my speech somewhere. <laughs> The class of 2014 has always been a very involved class. FBLA, FCCLA, FFA, music and drama, speech, sports, student council, National Honor Society, the list is endless. All of these activities take time and effort. We have four classmates going to Nashville, Tennessee in June for the National FBLA Conference. They have completed levels containing volunteer hours and concession stand hours and accomplished multiple projects. Brady Over received the Senior Athlete Award for football, basketball, and baseball this year. Our football team became back-to-back -back region champions. The girls' basketball team played in the region tournament this year. The actors and actresses we had this year produced a sold-out musical just last month with only about 12 weeks of rehearsal. I don't think I need to go on much further. For all of these accomplishments to have been achieved, we received lots of encouragement from you. You pushed us to work towards our goals, reminding us that our hard work, hard work will pay off. And it has, for we have accomplished so much. Thank you for listening to the complaints about practice and school, for showing us how to work hard, and supporting us through it all. Lastly, you have taught us to love. By tucking us in at night, staying home when we were sick, and putting band-aids on scraped up knees, you have shown what it means to love. The love of a family is the greatest blessing of all. 
Until I was six years old, my family used to live across the street from my much grandparents. Grandma Dolores was easily my best friend. I was three years old when I left her a recording on her answering machine, wishing her a happy Easter. I went on and on in my squeaky little Meredith voice, saying, Grandma, I just love you so, so, so much, and I miss you because I love you so much. She and I took the time to listen to this recording in March. I laughed so hard at my voice as she just glowed with a smile. I'm so happy to have this loving woman in my life who is so loyal to her family. I'm thankful to share this special day with her. Be sure to wish her a happy 90th birthday when the ceremony is finished. Now it is time to realize that it is May 25th, the day that we have been anxious for. Although we have learned from the most knowledgeable teachers at LHS, the most valuable lessons have been taught by our families. I speak for the class of 2014 when I thank you for trusting and guiding us through this unforgettable journey. Friends and family have been there supporting and learning with the class of 2014 through everything. But there is also a very important group that has been there along the way as well. I can't even explain how lucky we are to be a part of such a great community. Whether it's watching soccer and t-ball games, or coming to the church programs when we were just little tykes, to now seeing members of this community at each sporting event, musical, or better yet, this graduation ceremony. This supportive community makes me and my classmates feel very special. In other words, members of this community have made an impression on the class of 2014, and we can only hope to move on to one that is at least comparable. This summer, our community, family, and friends will all come together once again to celebrate our little town, yes, Lairmore Days. This is a huge event for a community like ours, especially this year. As most of you already know, this year is an all-year reunion for the LHS alumni. It's crazy to think that we 32 graduating seniors today will be considered alumni this year, but I'm sure glad I get to see my classmates at our two-month reunion in July. <laughs> More specifically, there is a very important group within our community that has given this senior class help through a lot as well. Each teacher here at LHS has supplied an enormous amount of knowledge. Whether it was boring history lessons, a new science lab, or little life lessons along the way, we're grateful for each. This year has sure been a stressful one, but the teachers pushing our limits each and every day have done a nice job of preparing us for whatever's next, we think. Many of the teachers have also taken the time to ask each of us about our plans for the future. This shows that they want us to keep shooting for the stars. The connection we have with the staff members of LHS proves coming from a small school has its perks. Looking back now, we have been more than lucky to have had these teachers. Also, coaches have given this group many great memories. This year has tr truthfully been a great year for us seniors, but it's not all about winning or losing. The coaches have arranged many activities with the elementary kids over the years. Coaches have given us guys and gals the opportunity to put on camps for the young players to teach skills, discipline, and respect. Three essentials for sports and life. Not only are we sharing our knowledge, but we are also bonding with the younger players and our teammates. These camps bring our community just that much closer. As we flip our tassels to the opposite side and move on to bigger and better things, we will always remember where it all started. They say it's the little things in life that count. And speaking on behalf of the seniors sitting before you all today, our little community has a big heart and we are more than thankful for all of the help and support you've given us.
Courtney Knudsen will be attending North Dakota State University. Courtney earned the North Dakota Academic Scholarship, the Grace Taylor Stone Scholarship, and the NDSU Freshman Academic Scholarship. Her total is $9,500. Jay Swamman will be attending North Glen Community and Technical College. He earned the Grace Taylor Stone Scholarship and the, and the Larimer American Legion Scholarship. Jace's total is $1,000. Sarah Larson will be attending the University of Jamestown. Sarah earned the North Dakota Career and Technical Scholarship, the Grace Taylor Stone, the University of Jamestown Academic Scholarship, the North Central Bean Healers Scholarship, and the Violet Serene Alumni Association Scholarship. Her total is $14,200. Sandra Martin will be attending the University of North Dakota. Sandra earned the Laramore School Scholarship Fund, Grace Taylor Stone Scholarship, the UND Elizabeth Larimore Scholarship, and the UND Meyer Foundation Scholarship. Sandra's total is $3,700. Rachel McNamee will be attending Lake Region State College. Rachel earned the Emirato Arbella Lions Club Scholarship, the Grace Taylor Stone, the Sven and Muriel Anderson Scholarship, and the Lake Region State College Honors Scholarship. Her total is $2,900. Brandon Molina will be attending North Dakota State University. Brandon earned the Sickles Trust Fund Scholarship, the Grace Taylor Stone Scholarship, and the Paul Wrighty Scholarship. Brandon's total is $2,500. Meredith Much will be attending the University of Jamestown. Meredith earned the Grand Forks County Farm Bureau Scholarship, the North Dakota High School Activities Association Distinguished Student Scholarship, the University of Jamestown Distinguished Scholarship, the University of Jamestown Band Participation Scholarship, the University of Jamestown Choir Participation Award, the North Dakota Academic Scholarship, the Bremer Outstanding Female Senior Scholarship, the Sickles Trust Fund Scholarship, the Grace Taylor Stone, and also the U.S. Army Reserve National Scholar Slash Athlete Award. Meredith's grand total is $24,500. Susan Piper will be attending North Dakota State University. Susan earned the Lloyd A. Masonic Lodge Scholarship, the Amarillo Arville Alliance Club Scholarship, the North Dakota Academic Scholarship, the Grace Taylor Stone Scholarship, the Laramore Good, Good Samaritan Center Scholarship, the Bank of North Dakota Real Deal Scholarship, and the NDSU Freshman Scholarship. Her total is $9,000. Hunter Trozen will be attending North Dakota State University. Hunter earned the Masonic Lodge North Star No. 16 Scholarship and the Grace Taylor Stone Scholarship. Hunter's total is $1,700. Jenna Wozniak will be attending Lake Region State College. Jenna earned the Lloyd Rustin Memorial Scholarship, the Margaret Hansen Nursing Scholarship, the Grace Taylor Stone, the Lake Region State College Honor Scholarship, the North Dakota Career and Technical Scholarship, the Violet Serene Laramore Alumni Association Scholarship. Her total is $9,050. Lake Yana will be attending North Dakota State University. Lake earned the American Crystal Sugar Company Scholarship. His total is
Okay, before the lights go out. <laughs> As principal of Larimore High School, I test the following students have met the graduation requirements as set by the North Dakota Department of Education and the Larimore School Board. <laughs> Two guys that weren't in practice. <laughs> <laughs> Travis Carroll Heider. Christopher Martin. Kristen Allen Johnson. Jace Andrew Landman. Connor. Grayson Nygaard. Brandon Jacob Molina. Blake Patrick Yana. Brayden Paul Hover.
Katie Jean
On behalf of the faculty and student body of LHS, we would like to wish the best of luck to this year's class of 2014.